Hey everybody, it's Setla38 here. This is going to be a slightly different video than most of what's been presented on the channel so far. So, what is pretty commonplace for this channel at this moment are the baseball unboxings. I'm going to do some other unbo unboxings in regards to subscription boxes, other sports. I know that I have a personal love for pro wrestling and the cards there are incredibly cheap to do a break on. Well, tonight we're going to do something that I last addressed when it came to, what, the Beer Drop subscription box about a week or so ago. Now, as you can see from the title of this YouTube channel, this is also a magazine. At least, kind of a labor of love hobby magazine. And I've kept up the magazine for 20-some uh, years. I started it in November of 1998. And what I want to do here is to go and really show some of the tips and tricks that individuals should be able to utilize even in this modern era. Now, the magazine which I work for, uh, called New Future, and it has been a traditional print magazine back in the day. It has been an online magazine for many more years than it was a print magazine. Now, part of what we do is product reviews. And you can look at a number of distinct influencers today, whether it be on Twitch or YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, whatever have you. And you can see that some material has been given for some sort of thought, if not an outright contract. Now, I'm not going to make the comparison that I am in the same league as anybody that you've ever heard of. But if you have a passion, if you have a desire to create content, and you want to fill a niche that's not being covered to a solid enough degree, at least in your opinion, I'd recommend you do that. You might still be able to go and get the hookup on some products that really are important for your line of coverage. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to be pulling home massive amounts of affiliate sales or uh, cash. That's not the goal here. But if you're really an aficionado, you really like what's going on when it comes to specific products, uh, whether it be media, whether it be things like uh, healthcare, HBA, if you've ever worked retail. Heck, if it's something like beer or something here like a bit of Crown Royal. There are still possibilities open to you, even in this current sort of era. So I want to lay out a few distinct tips, a few distinct ways um, to really go on and cover your own beat. Even though this is the kind of era that it is in a sound bite fashion. It's something like a few second clip here or there, a few minute YouTube uh, coverage. The simple fact is well-written, well-spoken content that provides a lot of information about the product, even if the product's review is not solid. I'm not saying to go and do a positive review each and every time out that would run afoul of individuals like Thunderfoot on YouTube that was eviscerating one of the review channels. What I'm saying here is to do something that you love, provide the information that you really like, and you will get products for consideration. So one of the things that we've covered here for a great many years has been DVDs. So example, we need to cover uh, SpongeBob release here. We also have a parenting section. Just having information about a product, about something that is new and upcoming that people might wanna buy, will get you into a lot of favor for individuals, even at the largest side of things. If that's a Paramount, 
if that's a Fox or whatever have you. This is something we got this week. So we have, for example, the Star Trek Short Treks DVD. Now you might think, well, this is a period of streaming media. Why in the world does this need to be done? Well, this is a good way to showcase uh, the box art. It's a good way to go and provide some information about what's all present. If you decide to do your own content, you're provided with a ton of fantastic information, polls, press releases as it were. If you are, say, a Trekkie and you want to have everything to do with Trek, the information provided within is invalid in regards to uh, really providing the information that's here but it's also a good way to collect things. So just to showcase what's going on. That sort of market is still available. People still buy media. And if you have a beat that you want to cover media, you go and showcase your skill. You showcase that this is something you're wanting to do over the course of the long run. And companies will want to go and work with you, even if you don't have the largest numbers. New Future, for example, has about 120,000 unique monthly views. If you look at an average YouTuber with a single video, that is much smaller than, say, a Mr. Beast. Well, if you go and you provide coverage, you're accurate. You might throw a link to the website for the product. You go and you do it in a timely fashion. You will get rewarded maybe by product, maybe by consideration being put on a media list over time where you'll get subsequent sends. And you will go and maybe even get additional publicity should the companies, uh, Twitter, Facebook, like what you're doing. So, for example, I have this Oscar Blues, uh, what is this? Uh, Munich style Hells or Hellas. I never figured it out. It's one of their logger series we just got to review about two weeks ago. The brewery has uh, been working with us for the better part of a decade at this point and actually invited us into another part of their product line. This was the seltzers they did. They also, when we were over uh, out west, invited us into their restaurant for a restaurant review. Again, you showcase that you know what the product is you're trying to cover, you go into detail. You don't have to be complimentary, you just have to be accurate and honest with your description. And things will very likely go your way, especially if you keep going on and contacting the right individuals, sending out a very professional media kit. We'll talk more about those in subsequent mail days. One of the other things that is very easy, and there's a lot of market for it, are the healthcare beats, especially with um, when it comes to uh, energy products, workout supplements. We've been covering these with New Future for about seven or eight years at this point. And if we're looking at new products, so these energy shots, we go and talk about what's present here. We say, oh, there is a certain amount of calories here. There's a certain amount of caffeine here. Our discussion, even if it says, hey, this product uh, could stand to use more flavors or whatever it is, if there's constructive criticism, as long as we're accurate, we go into this assessment with uh, a way to discuss the brand. Perhaps we put it up on our Twitter or Facebook and they will go and send us stuff. If we want to find a new product that's coming up, if there's a new energy shot that's going on uh, being released to the market, then it's easy enough just to point back to this review and say, hey, we are going to do something similar to this. We will go and promote it on our front page. We'll go and promote it on our social media. Again, you will get a lot of positives, especially if you continue to put in work. So that was another thing that we received this week. Other things that you might think you're too small for, uh, you could be rewarded with. This is another thing that we were uh, lucky enough to receive for this week. So we unwrap this here. We get a pair a Fakay uh, shampoo and conditioners. 
Now, if it's just me, I'm going and buying a dollar, two dollar, five dollar shampoo. I'm not going and purchasing uh, pricier shampoos here. But I said, hey, we want to cover your new line. We want to go and discuss the links that you've got for each of these products. We'll go and make mention of the availability of these products, uh, what other parts of the line they have. I was able to email individuals based on one of the news wires. We'll talk more about that in a subsequent episode as well. And then we were given these. We had these shipped directly to us. So another one of those things. We've been doing health and fitness for know, about 10 years now. It could even be companies that have been around for a long time that you would imagine aren't wanting a lot of publicity. So another thing we contacted again, the Health and Beauty Beat was the new Schick Razors. Haven't had a chance to try them yet. We just got them this week. But emailed, asked, and we had these shipped. Again, a good way to indicate what precisely uh, you're going to do is a uh, discussion. Talk about the length of what you're going to do. Talk about what services you're going to promote this on. Is this going to be a YouTube review? Is this going to be a combination website plus YouTube plus Instagram, so on and so forth? If they ask, do you have a media kit? Do you have discussions of examples of how many people retweeted you? How many people liked each Instagram post? And again, you could go and do a historical kind of traditional website and still be rewarded. For example, Salon Pass has been around for forever and they were rebooting their line for the U.S. market last year. They sent us about 30 products for us to consider. And that was one of these things that we're still working through. They were gracious enough to send it because I emailed and said, hey, uh, we'll do an article based on your product relaunch. It's important to recognize if you can dig into one of their press releases to go and accentuate some of the things they're looking to talk about. Again, you don't have to go and be utterly positive with it. And of course, if you're into traditional media here, you can always still get books very easily. You might get PDFs here once in a while. I wanted to showcase this because it felt absolutely terrible when I pulled it out of the mailbox today. You do have to watch out if you got a small mailbox. You might have something bowed like this. It looks like a fairly uh, fun book, especially for our parenting section, which we had ran for about five or six years. And heck, you could still go and do things based on your own desires. We started the parenting uh, section myself uh, back in 2015 uh, because I was having a daughter. I was having a child and we got a lot of products that were very fantastic to use that we promptly discussed. Again, you don't have to be super positive with it, but you can go and ultimately uh, pr talk about what you're going to promise to these press contacts. You can go and showcase similar reviews, similar articles you've written, and I think you'll be surprised, especially if you put in the work to really have some initial reviews. Like when I started the magazine back in uh, 1998, I had to actually go and buy some uh, relatively new metal CDs. Ultimately, uh, the CD section has been the biggest section at New Future for years now. We've reviewed five, six, seven thousand people. The topics are numerous that you can cover. We've gotten board games, that's not going to sit normal, in the past. We've gotten other products that are coming to market, ironing uh, wrinkle relaxers. So it's really just up to you what you want to cover. Again, if you want to cover healthcare products, those are possible. And one of the things that we've loved is the kind of renaissance of vinyl. Since we have been a music magazine for so long, we get fantastic releases. The uh, historically amazing Barnes & Barnes album, a song with fish heads. Uh, mm -hmm you might remember from Dr. Domeno. We're gonna do more of these with these openings. I'm going to showcase more tips and tricks to go and grow your ability to get sample products. Again, when it's to uh, hopefully have a labor of love, hopefully go and promote your specific brand. Anyways, this is Setla 38 here. 
Uh, hopefully we'll be doing this about once a week, once every two weeks. Have a great night.